name is Jennifer Badgel, and I'm the founder and the board president of Designers for Learning. Uh, we're a nonprofit that provides service learning professional development opportunities for educators and instructional designers. A focus for OER Commons as well as Designers for Learning is trying to figure out ways that we can provide the educators and the instructors that are working with those adults to provide them with quality resources. One of our objectives in having the course structured as we do when using OER Commons is the ability to use Open Author. The people that take our course are interested in learning new authoring tools and using tools that allow them to create resources that can then be used on the internet for others to find and share. And so what we love about using OER Commons and Open Author is the ease of use of the tool and it's been really fun to watch students who have very little experience in developing instructional materials be able to create a resource uh, from start to finish and then put it online and just the pride they have in uh, having it out there on the internet for others to use. Is it working now? It is, yeah, perfect. Oh, good. <laughs> Um, there's the Achieve rubrics, which are built within the platform. And so once the students do pull in their resource from the Google Docs and it's a live resource, we can then have an evaluation process where peer-to-peer -peer evaluation takes place as well as facilitators go in, review the resource, and then leave their comments. And it, it's all attached within the single document. One of the really important things that we do within the MOOC is to expose our adult educators who are taking our course to the whole world of open education and open educational resources. We quickly find when we offer this course that the mo module most people are interested in is the section on open education and OER. The resources that are stored on there are not only free, but they're also open. And we often talk in open education about the R's of open, and they include the ability to reuse, redistribute, or remix. And ISKME provides a platform for that to happen. So it's not just a storage place, but it's a place for you to see what others have created and then take that resource and adapt it. And without ISKME and their integrated tools and their integrated platform, that would be much harder to do. The fact that they pull them all together onto one platform is a, is a wonderful service to the education community.